Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax squared, or a times x squared. So with this one, they give us a lot of structure on how they want us to do it, so we want to make sure we're following that accurately. So they want us to graph h of x equals 3x squared by plotting five points on the graph of the function, one point at uh, x equals 0, two points with negative x values, and two points with positive x values. Uh, then we're going to sketch the graph. I believe in Alex, uh, there's actually a button you can click, and it'll connect all your five points together. Uh, and that's how you do it in there. But uh, since I don't, don't have that, I'm going to just sketch my graph through my points and show you what it would look like. So to set this up, I need an XY table. And I'm going to make sure I follow my structure here. So I need two negative, a zero, and two positives. So let's just go with the smallest ones, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Then I'm going to take those and plug them in to my function here of h of x equals 3x squared. And that by doing that, I can actually find the y values, which I'm going to need. So h of negative 2 equals three times, and remember you're plugging this in, definitely recommend putting those in parentheses so you, you don't uh, make mistakes, especially if you're um, uh, going to be double checking with a calculator, because if you don't have a calculator, you do three times negative two squared, it will give you something different than if that's in parentheses. So, working this out though, negative two squared is positive four, because we're squaring the two and the negative one, negative sign there, so, 3 times 4 gives me a 12. If I do negative 1, then I will have 3 times negative 1 squared, which comes out to 3 times, and this is negative 1 squared is positive 1, so 3 times 1 is a 3. So, by the way, I'm just lining these up. So, since I plugged in negative 2, 12 came out. If I plug in negative 1, 3 came out. That's how I'm lining these up. just as a refresher of how I'm doing that. Plugging in zero, my favorite number to plug in, because that just drops out. Zero squared zero times three is zero. So it gets rid of a lot of, a lot of stuff for you. Positive one, three times positive one squared. It, one squared is one, so that's a three again. And last but not least, a positive two. Two squared is four times three is 12. Okay, and you'll probably notice that we do have our uh, symmetric structure here. So it's 12, three, zero, three, 12. Um, that is, remember, not a given, but if they're the same distance from our middle point, which in this case is zero, zero, uh, that will happen. So if you see that happen all the way across, it's probably a good sign. Um, but if you don't, doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong, but it is usually a good idea to double check just in case. All right, so now graphing them over here. Um, I can't get quite hit 12. It's a little past my graph, so I'm going to estimate those. But okay, So negative 2, 12, so 2 and 10, and I need to go up a little 2 more. Negative 1, 3, 0, 0, 1, 3, and 2, 12. Those are my five points. Remember, I'm going to get that curvy U shape because it's an X squared. So if I sketch through these, it'll kind of look like that. 